Today, I'm listening to Dimash Kudaibergen sing Hello. Keep watching. Hi everybody, it's Christy Bovey with The Voice Love Company. Please be sure to like, subscribe, and don't forget to hit the little bell below so you don't miss a single video or when I go live. I write a love letter to my subscribers every Monday. If you're needing a little more voice love in your life, get all the details about the love letter in the description box below. Now let's get started. Well, it's been a while since we've had Dimash on the channel and I thought it was time to go back to my long list of reaction requests. And this one definitely was on there by you, Dimash Dears. Hello, which is a song by American artist Lionel Richie. Now this version does go a little bit longer than the radio play version that Lionel Richie put out, but I'm positive it's going to be filled with Dimash goodness. So let's not delay this any longer. Let's dig in. <clears throat> Oh, beautiful. Oh, my goodness. And in my dreams, I've kissed your lips a thousand times. I sometimes see you pass outside my door. Hello. Isn't he you're looking for? Okay, I've got to stop just because I have to, but I don't want to because it is so beautiful. This is like luscious, <laughs> the strings and the feel of it. And even the Kazakhstani instrumentation at the beginning there, that the flute player that reminded me a lot of, um, oh, I think it was Samal Tao, wasn't it? That he had... Uh, a flute player playing that same instrument and maybe it was the same person. I don't know. I, I would need to go back and look at that. But it just adds so much. And then we have these alternate chords from the original that just add to the experience altogether. I'm assuming that Dimash has done this arrangement because he does have the musical language to know how to do this. But if you know a little more about this performance, uh, this is from the, the television program, The Singer from 2018. And if you know a little bit more about who arranges for that show, I would love to know. Leave a comment down below. I can see it in his I can see it in his you're all I've ever wanted And my arms are open wide Cause you know just what to say And you know just what to do And I want to tell you so much I love you Dimash has such an incredible ability to sing these very soft dynamic markings with so much presence. He obviously is a master vocalist. We have established that again and again on this channel. He has so much style, so much beauty to what he's doing. He has, as an artist, a real ability to bring so much meaning to the lyric just by the tone quality he's creating. And his ability to sing at that very pianissimo dynamic marking with so much warmth and presence in his tone, it just adds so much to the experience. It gives me chills literally every time I hear him sing. Many times with these ballads, this is kind of where he keeps that vocally. Yet, it always sounds fresh and new. He is just uh, so incredibly talented and so artistically aware for his age. He's able to sing lyrics that are maybe beyond his scope at the age he is or was. You know, this was in 2018. But yet, there is such an awareness as well, artistically, of 
the emotions and he brings those to the forefront. He, he's just so masterful in that. Kazakhstani singing he was doing at the beginning of the section. It's so cool how he's able to meld his culture in with these pop covers. I just think it, it sets him apart so beautifully. Who else does that? Nobody. <laughs> and so he is making his own space in the world, you know, as especially back then, you know, this feels so long ago, but three years ago, he's still just coming into the public stage. And so to be able to make inroads into music, doing a cover song, but yet having this very specific twist to it, it's definitely Dimash's way of doing hello. It's a really good takeaway for those of you who are young singers and you're trying to find your way in the world to be doing cover songs, but make it your own. Don't do just a straight cover. We've seen this in Floor's videos too that she's done during lockdown. She is able to actually make a whole new track, isn't she? And so when you've got the musical skills and if you don't have them, hire them. Hire somebody who can help you. Make the cover songs that you do truly unique to you. I think it's something so incredible that Dimash does with any cover I've heard him sing. I can see the new I didn't say at the last little interlude is the way he flips up into his upper belting range. I love it. I love the tone quality he gets here as well and we already know he has the ability to sing pretty much any part <laughs> that he wants to. His voice is incredibly flexible and he has such a, an ability to stay in this place of relaxation. You know I tell my students a lot of times we work hard to relax. You're working hard at relaxing when you sing. And it's something that feels very counterintuitive, especially when you add adrenaline and you're getting up in front of people, but it really is the key. And this is something that Dimash does just so well. I mean, he's such a relaxed singer. He lets the sound just flow. And this is something you can definitely hear, even though he's singing up in that high, belting space and especially this little section here as he goes into the chorus putting a little more pressure into it right a little more intensity it's still just relaxed and expansive really something to be going for as a singer ourselves <laughs> I love how they play out the side of their mouth. It's so cool. Beautiful. Wow.
my gosh. <laughs> I am way over like the limit of how long you're supposed to play a clip before you're supposed to talk. I am covered in goosebumps. I'm telling you, I could not stop. It would have been a crime. It would have been a crime. So please forgive me. I'm sorry, Lionel Richie. I'm sorry, Dimash. That was so amazing that I've got to go back and listen to it again. And I'm probably going to listen to it again multiple times in the deconstruction. So I'm going to get dings all over the place from the copyright people. But I don't care because that was amazing and you need to listen to it without interruption. In fact, please promise me, let's all pinky promise and spit swear that we are all going to go back and listen to this without me yammering away. Okay? Because it's just amazing. happening right now? What is my life? <laughs> oh my goodness. I, I very rarely have had this happen when I've watched things on this channel where I'm, I listen to it again and I'm covered in goosebumps all over again. I mean, seriously, this may be my favorite song I've heard him do. This shows what he can do so well. I mean, I feel like I'm discovering his voice for the first time all over again, and I think that's what's so exciting. The way he goes up and inverts and goes up and goes... I mean, right? It's absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. And the riffs and the runs, everything is just executed to perfection. Oh, okay. Let's move on, shall we? I am so excited about this song now. I can't wait to see what happens next. Seriously. Okay. I think I went over again. I'm just the naughtiest reactor ever, okay? <laughs> because I'm completely swept away by this performance. It's incredible. Okay, I cannot wait. Let's deconstruct this beautiful masterpiece a little bit more. Where do I start to talk about how excited I am about this performance? Dimash is beyond anything I thought before. <laughs> I've been alone with you inside my mind And in my dreams I've kissed your lips a thousand times I sometimes see you pass outside my door Hello, isn't he you're looking for? 
one of the things I really love about this arrangement is it really adds tremendous meaning to the original lyric. I feel like in this first section, Dimash really is able to communicate the longing of the person who is singing. By his use of just a very diminutive, very tentative almost way of singing, and yet there's an intensity there as well. He, he's kind of putting this juxtaposition of two things at one time in this very subdued space as a performer. And it is so incredibly powerful, incredibly effective. I can see it in eyes. I can see it in his You're all I've ever wanted. And my arms are open wide. Cause you know just what to say. And you know just what to do And I want to tell you so much I love you Something else to point out at this section is the proximity to which he's singing into the microphone. There is no pop, there's no plosive consonants or anything getting in the way of what he's doing. He is perfectly in control. That's a really difficult thing to do, and so I just thought it worth a mention. <laughs> Then we get to hear him flip up into that high mix, which is just crystal clear and yet has this restrained intensity about it as well, which has a lot to do with the lyric and what he's conveying, the longing in the person singing, you know, the, the main character of the song. It's still there, but there's a, a restraint to the intensity because of how he is creating the sound. It's just absolutely brilliant. I've been alone with you inside my mind And in my dreams of kiss your lips A dozen times I sometimes see you pass outside my door next section what I really want to point out to you is his use of dynamics the way he is crescendoing getting louder and decrescendoing getting softer see if you can hear those spots as well I can see it in your eyes. I can see it in your also saying I love you in his native language because he's not saying I love you in English even though the rest of the song is done in English so I think that's just a wonderful touch but then we get into this ethereal otherworldly moment that I'm so excited to listen to again
so uh, impactful. Uh, what do I want to say? I don't even know what I want to say. I'm so undone by this section. Just musically. You guys, seriously. As an American, this is also really just amazing to me because he's singing notes and rhythms and the the ability to get into the 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 cracks as it were vocally tone wise we don't have those notes here in the states and so to me it's just so exciting i absolutely love it i so love what he does in this section i'm fangirling completely and i do not apologize for that he deserves it he's also just an incredible showman and you can see that in this section here where he's able to kind of catch his breath for a minute while the background singers sing through the chorus. I also really enjoyed seeing the little shot of Tangri, who is also a very famous Kazakhstani singer. I've had him on my channel before. I'll put a card of Tangri and Dimash singing a duet right up here. get a little bit of his operatic upper soprano voice in this next section. Again, he's just not even showing off. He's just walking in his glory. He's doing what he can do, which is just absolutely unsurpassed. And I really love the alternate chords right there. That is really cool touch. But the ending is really a study in contrast. This was such a thrill and I am actually going to go back once I turn this camera off and listen to it again because I enjoyed it that much. Well, that's it for me today. Like if you liked it, subscribe, and don't forget to share with someone you know loves Dimash Kudabergen. You can ask me any question about your voice in the comments down below, on my blog at voicelove.co, on Instagram at The Voice Love Company, and now on yzo.com. Get all those details in the description box below. It's musical moments like this that help you feel alive. And I think at a time like we are in in history right now as humanity, with the pandemic ongoing, we need those moments to jolt us out of the reality of what we're living into a place of beauty. And that's exactly what this song did for me today. And I hope it did the same thing for you. Keep finding your voice. Keep making your sound in the world, wherever you are and whatever it is that you do, because the world is waiting for you to show up. And remember, you are loved. Bye, guys.